Make sure it's playing. Okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens to me if I don't. If it's okay, it's the after show. Look, no, it still is still. It's still? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying I had to, another way. Okay. I'm trying to repost download a story. Oh, download it first. I don't so know if you can download this. someone else's story. If you, if you're well, this it. is fascinating for you so. guys. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't know. So no, no okay, I can't you, do no, it. No, 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 I know. No. Okay, uh, it's the after show. Sorry, it's Andy and Shamari and Candy and Mondo. Now that I'm about to repost it, now you can save it. Oh, okay. And then you can do it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, let's go to Andrew from Baltimore. Hey, Andrew, what's your question? Hey, my question's for Candy. Hey, Candy, love you. You're gorgeous. I wear your family you. spray all the time. Oh, wow. I wanted to know. Have you considered extending an invitation to Phaedra to a showing of the dungeon? Two. Oh. All right, let's go to Joy from Idaho. <laughs> hey, Joy, what's your question? Hi, me and Moore. You know I adore you. Hi, Joy. How you been, my baby? Ooh. Oh, it's just fine. Thank you. Many blessings to you and yours. And many blessings to you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, my little candy cane. My question <laughs> is for you. I'm curious, is foreplay mental or physical? Is foreplay mental or physical? Um, That's a good question. It can be both, in my opinion. I mean, sometimes foreplay is just the way that you talk to a person. And mm. so that's why during the dungeon I was, you know, saying that we should you know, give a lesson in the things you can say that gets in a person's head and it can make them come before they actually come. Ooh! Yeah. But yes. obviously there's certain foreplay that's done physically that also makes you come. <laughs> um, I love it that Ryan Lochte is blowing up your text messages right now. He's, He's like, not blowing me up. Yeah, we are is. friends. You are texting. And he was just <laughs> hitting me up and uh, we were replying to each other. It's not a blow. I up. love it. Not the brightest bulb on Broadway, Ryan Lochte. Well, let me say this. I had time to spend with him in the Big Brother house and yes. I felt like he actually was a really cool guy and he was very remorseful for what he had done. Like he was in tears when he shared the story with us. Oh, really? And it it wasn't like he knew that you guys were going to see everything we said right. because there were a lot of things you guys didn't get to see. But yeah. He was extremely remorseful about what well, he said. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to Sammy from Kentucky. Hey, Sammy, what's your question? Hi. Oh my gosh, I adore you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and, and Candy, I just, I freaking love you, how open you are. Thank you. And you are so welcome. You're just my favorite. Thanks. And I know that you have a sex toy line. Bedroom and candy. And I was wondering. Yes. And I was wondering <laughs> what is the best toy to get for a couple to play with. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, sometimes it depends on what you're in the mood for. Like, I mean, I, obviously something easy is like our vibrating panties because you give him vibrating the remote. Vibrating panties. Yes. Oh, and the husband controls her remote? <laughs> yeah, you can give him the remote and he can control you. So when you're out, it's a good little foreplay fun thing to do. What? Um, oh, my God. I yes. also like, I personally like, um, Hold on to me, which is like a ring. It's a vibrating ring, and he, as he's feeling the vibration, so are you. Oh. In there, so oh, that's yes. a great couple's toy. <laughs> you know, but I always like toys that I can use with or without him. So like even with just the lipstick, I can play with it myself. <laughs> or when he's down there kissing the love below, he can use it and give me like. Oh. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> My consultants I hear make a those, lot of money. I they hear those well. lipsticks are the thing. Yeah, they yeah. are. Our, the bedroom, it's called Candy Kisses. Candy Kisses, yes, the lipsticks. And, and it's, like, amazing. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Susan from L.A. Hey, Susan, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Hi, Candy. Hi, Shamari. Hi. My question is for Shamari. Um, Shamari, I'm a huge New Edition fan, so I just had a question. Um, how does Ronnie feel about you being on the show and how are you how you've been portrayed on the show this yeah good question i mean look you've you've been very open which is mm -hmm. wonderful but on the other hand it's been a little bit to his expense right and also you've turned it up a little bit and that hasn't necessarily always gone the way that you maybe expected it to mm -hmm. what's his reaction been 
You know, Ronnie is a very protective person, so at first, of course, he's like, I don't want you to do the show, but then after we agreed to do it, he realized that it was a good opportunity and a major platform for us to share our testimony as marriage ambassadors. Yes, we have gone through challenges, we have overcome obstacles, but we just wanted to be able to let people know that we want to tell our story, you can relate to us, and you can see a piece of us in you and that's when you really and fully have fulfilled your purpose when you are helping other people so you know we're just doing our big we're doing our thing and we're doing the married for life walk and we're doing all types of things and this is something that i prayed about we prayed about and it came and it just is right on our lap i love it I, I love the two of them on the show because they are so open. You know, a lot of times you get people who come on the show who try to hide what's really happening in their, their lives, which is it's not good for the show when people are trying to be all secretive. When you, you meet people like them who are so open and, you know, just being their selves, I think that's better for the entire yes. franchise. Yes. Come on. Philippine. Relate to us. You yeah, guys know. You've they, been through some challenges in your relationship. Yeah. Let's go to okay. Sharia from Atla Alabama. Hey, y'all, this is Sharia from Tuskegee, Alabama. How y'all doing? Great. Great. Good. This question is for Candy. Hey, Candy, uh, I was trying to see, are you going to drop another solo album anytime soon? Um, I think that I am going to put together a little something. I was going to put together an EP of songs. I'm just going in the studio just doing some yes. fun stuff that I like, and hopefully everybody else will like it. Candy, you're super talented. Of course, they're going to yeah, love it. When are you doing that? <laughs> Um, well, actually, I've, I've been gathering songs. And some of I, I don't plan on writing everything this time around. I have some of my writers that I work with. They're coming up with some songs because I want to try some different stuff. So this week, I'm going to be going to the studio. Wow, very good. Yeah. I want to thank Candy and Shamari and Mondo from North Carolina. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.